It's kind of fun in a raw kind of way. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> I'm sorry, but what? <laughs> what? Are you serious? <laughs> Game over. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. I'm often on the Nintendo Switch store and I'm sure that you are as well. And you've noticed that a large number of cheap games coming out of Japan are also available on the Western store, so like the American store or the European store, trying out games that I usually look at and go, mm, I'm not sure about that title. And the first one we're looking at is The Legend of Dark Witch. The indie scene in Japan is kind of strange because it's not just indie developers who want to be game developers. A lot of them make doujin games which are sold at events like Comic Cat, but they don't actually intend to ever make that their career. It's just something that they do on the side. Dark Witch and Zizo Olympia, one of the gods in charge of managing magic. I have no idea what we're choosing. Are we choosing like an assist character or something? How about Broker Blad? Blad is well known in the underworld as an informant that sells rare information. First of all, it's not pixely, it's been done with sort of cartoony style anime graphics. One of the main reasons I want to do this series is because I'm often looking at the Nintendo Switch store and I, I'm really like, is that game actually worth buying or not? No, by the way, I'm using the Hori Fighting Commander for this. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm picking up those butterflies. That that meter in the bottom left has gone to speed. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I see. It's a little bit like... Is it like Gradius? So if you wait until you've built up more, like a higher power up, you can choose. Yeah, it reminds me of Gradius. So now I'm able to move a little bit faster. And if I just keep collecting this Trez, then instead of activating speed again, I can this next time get wing. It's really nice and smooth, first of all, in smooth 60 FPS action. Oh no, I died. Where's my HP? I didn't even notice. Oh, I've got those heart. I've got four hearts. Hang on, I'm still trying to figure out how to play this game. What's going on? Okay, so wing is now actually completely filled. So if I press circle, or sorry, if I press the A button. Okay, now I've got the wing power up. Oh, I can use it to f drop slowly. So I just press jump again in the air or hold it down and I can slow fall. And every time I shoot, I'm using that little blue meter. Ouch! <laughs> that hedgehog literally explodes. I've got to keep my wits about me. It's been a long time since I played a game that was actually like, you know, what's, what's the name of that? Oh, God. What's the name of that game? Cuphead. Well, she's on a timer, so... I actually got further this time. Can I open this door? No. <laughs> Gotta love these indie games where you have enemies who literally just run forward. Like, their purpose is to just die. Oh! <gasps> I fell for it. <laughs> Game over. Are you serious? <laughs> Hold on a second. It's like a budget version of Shanty... Shanty's Revenge? Whatever it's called. You know, the Shanty... Oh, why did I jump into that? The Shanty half... half hero genie. Half genie hero. Feels really good to use this D-pad, by the way. <laughs> Definitely my D-pad of choice. I'm sure I'm gonna get sick of this music. I have to get myself back in the mindset of playing these difficult platform games. Jump when it's safe, go, and this time I'm not going to get fooled by that unbelievably unfair trap. This is, this is game design. Ouch. Oh, what? Are you serious? Look at these dudes. <laughs> they're literally just there to die. Or what? Well, they're like mines, I suppose. Ouch. Fortunately, everyone's on a timer, so they're not super intelligent. I wish that guy would actually explode and shoot the, the fairy above him in a chain reaction. No such luck. Don't know how to don't know how to explain it. It's kind of fun in a sort of mundane way. Like, I get it now. Now we're just going through the motions. We're not really trying anything especially challenging now. <gasps> that was dangerous. <sighs> I've got one heart. Heart's racing. I'm scared. Ah! Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Ow! <gasps> oh, that was dangerous. <sighs> oh no, no, no! <sighs> Hello. Oh, I'm getting really nervous. What's coming up next? I know that there's going to be something really unfair. Like, I'm just going to walk straight into a, one of those fast lanes that shoots me into a hole. Is that the end? No way, I made it to the end. Huh? A traveling minstrel? 
This isn't a very good place to put on a performance, you know. Well, that's why I came here. But aside from you, there were only monsters. <laughs> and the monsters weren't even very good at their jobs. Just kind of hanging around waiting to die. Or running straight forward. This place is abandoned after all. But I did find some clues. Honestly, I would say that the gameplay's got a bit of a Ninja Gaiden feel. In the way that some enemies literally just run towards you with no actual hand movement or attack, like, they just run towards you and if they touch you, you die. Okay, this is gonna be some sort of evil Mega Man boss, boss battle, I can tell. So this is the Japanese indie scene, huh? It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun in a raw kind of way. Oh. Are you serious? It's kind of fun in a raw kind of way. I had no idea that was gonna happen. Okay, hold on a second. So what's going on here? I shoot you once, you send those to me, and if I jump over them... Wait a second. What? <laughs> so I'm not allowed to jump over the rings, or they'll split into multiple ones. So I shoot you once. What? So this is the second pattern. She just sends them everywhere. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but what? What? Are you serious? Game over. <coughs> Are you kidding? No, 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 no. I'm not playing the stage again. Do I get no extra chances to fight the boss? Oh, get the F out. I am not playing that level again. No way. No way. Oh my god. Okay, so this game is, this is game, this game is hard. There's a, there's actually a good video by Dunkey where he talks about like games, do games need to be difficult to be well designed or like to be like good games? Like, do you need to just learn to get good? And, and this sort of game, which is punishing, which is just like, okay, you suck, so you don't get to play the boss anymore. Like, I understand that there's a certain nostalgia for that sort of thing, <laughs> but right now it's just making me like, look, I could, I could just turn this off and play something else. Let's just go back to stage select and let's see if maybe, oh, I see, so I was, this is actually, this is the stage select. I was choosing the final boss. So maybe this one's the easiest level. I should start on, on an easier level. Well, I didn't know that. How was I supposed to know that? Why, why do I always start off in this sort of nowhere zone? Oh, because I'm getting myself, I'm getting myself to the level. All right, so the level begin. There's a book that falls from the sky. At least they, at least they tell you that it's gonna fall. No, oh, this is fun. No, no, this is this is good fun. See, easy fun. This is what I really needed. Just an easy game. Oh! <gasps> Did you just see that? I just parried that that particle. Here we go. Pressing left or right when you are about to get hit by enemy shots will activate blocking, which will protect you from damage. What the heck? It's Street Fighter Third Strike. What the heck? I don't mind losing for a bit. I just want to. <laughs> I kind of I kind of want a training mode for this platform game. What the? Oh, they got armor. Yo, my shot! I've got two shots. So that okay. So I get it now. So it's essentially a cross between a platform game and Gradius. I like it. I like it. And I almost completely turned this down. I was like, oh, it's some kind of Japanese indie game. I'm sure it's gonna be trash. It's actually really interesting. Could it be slightly kinder to the player? I think so. <gasps> Ooh. Here we go. <gasps> I did it! So yeah. Oh, I didn't press it, but right. Nice! Parry training. Ouch! Parry training! Yo, that's awesome. I imagine that in, at some point in this game, I'm not gonna be able to dodge certain attacks. Sometimes I won't be able to jump out of the way. I'll have to parry. Third strike. Here I am trying to escape from fighting games and play some platform games. Whoa! And in the end, I'm still gonna have to learn how to do this. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Blocking. Yo, how good am I? Oh. Are you serious? I thought I could jump over that. This game has a turbo button, right? Whoa! I'm using the Hori Fighting Commander today, and it's got a turbo function. I just tried it. <laughs> I have not done that since I had a Super Nintendo and I was playing Mega Man X. You can play, you can shoot shots physically not, it should not physically be possible to do that. I mean, I'm gonna play like an intelligent person now. It's so funny how playing fighting games makes you approach every other genre of game completely differently. You wanna, you wanna go to the lab and training mode everything. The whole idea of learning on the job kind of disappears. Oh, and the visuals are, are nice actually. They've probably gone and illustrated these backgrounds. Parallax scrolling is working. 
smooth 60 FPS. I like the I like the trajectories on these butterflies as they fly towards you. The book animations, everything's thematically in place. I got a key right in front of a door. <laughs> well, I suppose they're just teaching me how the, the key system works. I don't know about you, but I'm actually having a really good time with this. At first I was like, okay, this is a little bit too difficult. Whoa! Even if you're used to a, a higher caliber of indie game with like higher production values, it's kind of nice to play a game like like this with the classic sort of anime, anime theme music in the background. The game is simple, but it's actually fairly well thought out. It feels less polished than a lot of other indie games that come out these days. But at the same time, it's still got that classic, what's the word? It's got an addictive sort of gameplay to it, which is an important feature of a lot of these doujin games. <laughs> For example, when I'm talking about like a lack of polish, there's the fact that that door literally isn't a door, it's just a barrier. They're probably using that key system on all the other levels as well. Maybe that's why it's just a universal sort of door. What the? What is that? Seriously, I've got two hearts to go through this boss. This is gonna be this is gonna be awful. Hey, what are you doing here? Only authorized personnel are allowed. I might know something about it, but I can't simply just tell someone I've just met, can I? You got engaged to someone you just met? But if you think a librarian can't fight, you're wrong. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm really into this game. I'm really into this. I, I, I just wish that I could restart boss battles without restarting the whole level. This is my only chance right now. <laughs> Why? Oh, I got a second chance. I got a second chance. Okay, hold on. So don't jump. Don't jump. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, oh. You're actually kidding. Please, please, let me restart. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I suppose this is because I'm on... No, 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 but this isn't just because I'm on normal difficulty, is it? Just because I'm curious to know. Let's see, if I do it in easy, do I get to fight the boss multiple times? I think it's unlikely, but I I'm curious to find out. Traveling far and wide in search of rare objects. Ow! <laughs> Is that what a name is? Is it AI? Is it AI? It looks like it says Al. But a lot of indie games actually do focus on difficulty like this, where you just memorize the level, and once you've memorized the level, you can like play the game. You can do like perfect runs. It's about, it's about like perfect performance, especially the Toho, the Toho Project games. Once you've learned the the patterns of the bosses, then you can you can conceivably play perfect runs in Toho Project, which, is, which if if you've never played it before, it's a scrolling shooter game. <laughs> Ew! Oh man! <laughs> what is that? Hey, check out my pecs. I assume that easy mode has also reduced the number of- <gasps> That was scary. I assume that putting it on easy mode has also reduced the number of shots required to get through the armor of some of these enemies. That is absolutely bizarre. Can we just talk about this right here? It's a snowman with dancing pectoral muscles who also spits fire. He's a snowman. And look at his face. He's got like the the Neko, the, the way that people draw Neko faces. <laughs> Check out them reactions. Is another one coming? Here he comes, here he comes. Whew. I like the little red. I was literally mid-sentence saying I like how the red exclamation mark tells you when an enemy's coming. And then literally a dolphin it's not a dolphin. Some chill penguin just exploded in my face. Just send the warning shots out. Warning shots, warning shots. Yo, 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 yo. The word I want to use, I can't because there are Mattel toys around. I'm gonna call, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna nickname him Snowpeck. Snowpex. All right, Snowpex, bring it. Whoa! There are a few quality of life changes that I would make to this game. I would love the ability to challenge a boss without having to do the whole level again because this doesn't really prove anything. Doing this level again doesn't really prove that I can't fight the boss, but what it does is it makes you appreciate when you finally make it to the boss. So I do I do appreciate the the idea there. I just don't agree with it. Pressing jump in the air so that I can do the slow jump, the slow fall. Oh no 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 
I was experimenting. That was a very bad time to experiment. I'm just gonna do the first level again just to see whether I get a second chance against the boss. Mechanically speaking, actually, it feels quite nice to play though. The speed of the movement. <laughs> What's funny about the shots is that it reminds me a lot of a scrolling shooter game, which makes sense because this company worked on Toho games. Now, in fact, if you're interested in this game, I think it's not only on Switch, it's also on Steam. Mmm. That's what it is. This game is about reward. The reward for getting a perfect run on the main level is that you have more chances to fight the boss. I get it. I get it. Just not that into it. I don't mind having a, a difficult mode where, you, where you're not allowed to continue straight from the boss. But to make that the main way to play the game, it's kind of mean in this day and age. I say that, I managed to get to the boss with three tries left. This is gonna be, this is not proving my point. My point was I was gonna just die on purpose so that I could see whether I get to start from the boss. No, you're going down, you're going down. Yeah, I didn't use any strategy whatsoever. Don't play this on easy mode, you missed the entire, you missed the point entirely. I, I got no satisfaction from doing that, I basically cheated. Sorry, but I can't let you leave without a proper punishment. Prepare to be taught a lesson. Illustration works is pretty good in this, isn't it? All right, zero lives left. Let's get hit by something. All right, let's see. In easy mode, are they nice enough that they let me restart from the boss? No. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little bit shocked. I'm a little, well, actually not shocked at all. But I think as a quality of life adjustment to this game, if they gave you the option to restart from the boss, that would be significantly less stressful and people would be more likely to stay with the game. Now, by not having that option, it does keep the game kind of hardcore. You'll have a talking point. It's kind of fun when you talk to other people who play the game. You're like, oh yeah, no, I know exactly how you feel because that game, it's so stressful because you make it all the way to the boss and if you don't have enough lives, then you don't really get a chance to practice against the boss. And it's, in that regard, it is cool. But just for that aspect of coolness where it's like, yo, it's so difficult and we all can like, empathize with each other apart apart from that i i think maybe as a quality of life adjustment and probably it would increase the sales of the game as well just as a suggestion i would suggest adding the ability to restart from the boss so there you have it that was the legend of dark witch by inside system it's a fun game i'll give it that and i think it's just old school and that might switch people off so even though they've released it on Switch, which is nice so that a whole new generation of people can play this, because I believe this game is like five years old or so. The only thing about it is that it does have that old school Japanese difficult game feel, a bit like original Mega Man games, where it's like if you didn't beat the boss at the end and you didn't bring enough lives with you to practice against the boss, then you have to play the level again, even though really it's the, the boss that you are having trouble with. That's fine. I think there's actually tons of reasons why that kind of system is kind of cool as well. It's just that for the life of the game and just for the modern, in the modern era, people are used to having these quality of life adjustments that allow them to go straight to the boss and practice just the boss. Or at least, you know, if you make it as far as the boss, then let people restart from that point. But in terms of the game system itself, like I think the art is really well done. I think the music is really well done. I think the jump mechanics and the fighting mechanics and the install system, I think that's all really cool. I think obviously it could be even more polished, but the way it is right now, I quite enjoyed it. And anyway, this game cost me 770 yen, something like five pounds or seven or eight dollars. So it's unbelievably inexpensive. So I'd say that if you want to pick up The Legend of Dark Witch, I don't think you can really go wrong at this price. This is quite a lot of fun for a very low price and it's got good music and you can get into it. And I think definitely you could get hooked. You would get hooked if you're into suffering a little bit. There's a certain kind of game. There are games for people who like to just chill out and play a game. And then there's people, there's games for people who like to suffer. And if you like Mega Man, if you like Mega Man X, if you like the original Mega Man games, especially if you like the original Mega Man games, you're gonna love stuff like this. And you know what's really cool about this is that it really is an interesting combination of the scrolling shooting genre and the platform genre. So it's a bit like Gradius and Mega Man squashed together. I quite, I quite like that. Anyway, that's all for now. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, share links and all that great stuff. And I'll see you in the next Nihongo Gamer video and or on Discord or Twitter if you want to come and hang out there as well. See you next time.